Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing an English listening exercise and the subject is supermarket story. So let's start. Well, the lesson plan, as always, we will start with some new English vocabulary. Then I will give you the questions that I would like you to answer. Then you will listen to the article and you will have time to answer the questions. And finally, I will give you the correct answers to the questions and you will listen one last time with the transcript on the screen. Okay? Vocabulary. To protest. So here is the pronunciation. Protest. So notice that the stress is on the second syllable. Protest. And it means to show that you do not agree with something. And as an example, perhaps by shouting or carrying a sign or other actions. So I will give you a photograph and I am sure you will understand. So these people are protesting. Okay, you can see them. Um, they have signs, they are holding signs. Perhaps they are shouting. Okay, so they are showing that they do not agree with something. They want something to change. They're protesting. The second word is pint. This is a noun. Pint. A pint is a volume of liquid. So it is an amount of liquid. It is a measure. And one pint is equal to 0 0.57 litres. Okay? So approximately half a litre. Slightly more. And here is an example. He is drinking a pint of beer. A pint of beer. So in the glass there is one pint of beer. The questions. Question 1. Who has recently been protesting at supermarkets in Great Britain? And I am looking for one word. Question 2. Why are they annoyed? And I am looking for four words. So I want you to complete this sentence with four missing words. Two here and two here. Question three. How did they protest? And I want you to choose the correct sentence. So there are three choices and only one of them is correct. So choice one. Choice two. And choice three. So these three sentences, only one of them is correct. And I want you to tell me which one is correct. Question four. What did they say about the situation? And here I am looking for two words. Question five. 
A supermarket manager said that the situation is due to and I'm looking for three words. And the last question, question six. What did the police say about the protests? And it is three words that I'm looking for. Okay, so three words, two here and one here. Okay. So those are the six questions that I want you to answer. I am now going to play the article for you. Okay, so get ready. I'm going to play you the article now. Farmers have recently been protesting at supermarkets in Great Britain. They are annoyed because of the low price they receive for producing milk. They claim that they are not getting a fair price and are being forced to sell for less than the cost of production. Some supermarkets only pay farmers 19 pence for a pint of milk, but it costs them 31 pence to produce. In the supermarkets, the farmers filled trolleys with bottles of milk and then left them at checkouts without paying. The farmers said that the situation has forced them to desperate measures. A supermarket manager said that the situation is due to reduced global demand. The police said no crime had been committed during the protests. Okay, so that is the end of the listening. If you need more time, if you haven't quite finished answering the questions, then just click here on the screen and you can go back or wait a few seconds and we will continue for the answers. Okay, so let's carry on and we will look at the answers. So question one, I asked, who has recently been protesting at supermarkets in Great Britain? Well, the answer is farmers, farmers. Question two, I asked, why are they annoyed? So why are they protesting? Well, the answer is they are annoyed because of the low price they receive for producing milk, low price they receive for producing milk. Question three, I asked, how did they protest? And I was looking, there was three possible answers and only one is correct. So the answer is, the answer is answer C. They left trolleys of milk at the checkouts. Okay, so they didn't steal the milk. Okay, that is important. They did not steal the milk. They filled the trolleys with milk. They took the milk to the checkouts and then they just left the milk there and they left, but they didn't steal the milk. So here is perhaps a new word for you, um, trolley. trolley and here is a photograph so I'm sure you understand what it is okay in American English they often call this a cart a shopping cart and in British English we call it a shopping trolley trolley okay question four I asked, what did they say about the situation? And we were looking for two words. Well, the answer is, the situation has forced people to desperate measures. Desperate measures. Question five, 
I was looking for three words and the answer is a supermarket manager said that the situation is due to reduced global demand reduced global demand okay and finally question six I asked what did the police say about the protests and there were three missing words so the answer is the police said no crime had been committed during the protests no crime had been committed during the protests okay so those are the answers to the questions and here is the transcript of the article on the screen and so I will play you the article one last time farmers have recently been protesting at supermarkets in Great Britain they are annoyed because of the low price they receive for producing milk they claim that they are not getting a fair price and are being forced to sell for less than the cost of production some supermarkets only pay farmers 19 pence for a pint of milk but it cost them 31 pence to produce. In the supermarkets, the farmers filled trolleys with bottles of milk and then left them at checkouts without paying. The farmers said that the situation has forced them to desperate measures. A supermarket manager said that the situation is due to reduced global demand. The police said no crime had been committed during the protests. Okay, so that is the end of the article with the transcript on the screen. So I hope that helped you. So here is perhaps um, a new word or expression. So let's look at this. We have an expression and it's called to commit a crime. To commit a crime. So here is the pronunciation, commit a crime. And it means simply to do something illegal, to do something illegal. And so we do not say to do a crime, that is wrong. And we do not say to make a crime, that is also wrong. So when we want to describe a crime, the action of a crime, we say commit a crime, commit a crime. Example, the police arrested him because he was committing a crime. So an example, um, he stole a car, he committed a crime. Okay, and in the article this structure is it's quite complicated it is the passive voice okay and it is the past perfect so it's the past perfect tense and it is the passive voice so it is the same as saying um, nobody had committed a crime Okay, it's a different way of saying that. Okay, so that is the end of the article and that's also the end of the lesson. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, here is my Twitter account. Here are three other video lessons which you might be interested in watching. A listening lesson. Um, this is a grammar lesson about the time and here is another grammar lesson so you just need to click on the screen to start those videos and here is um, the web my website address 
I have recently started um, a new website. So here is the address, crownacademyenglish.com. Okay, so thanks for watching. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.